So I'm here with Adam Catron with FC Tucker for a special Q&A from our viewers. Now, Adam's been on the show several times showing us houses, design tips, and really educating us on home buying. So tonight, we're going to explore some of the myths and misconceptions of particularly a first-time home buying. So first off, Adam, welcome again. Um, I want to mention that a lot of people may not be aware. Your services are completely free for the buyer, correct? For the most part, yes. For the buyer, my services are free. So I offer a free buyer consultation just to kind of walk you through the process, answer any questions that somebody might have. You know, first time home buyers are usually kind of freaked out a little bit, a little bit scared. Sure. You know, there's a lot of stuff out there on the market about, you know, what to look out for. And some of that stuff's true and some of that stuff's not. But for the most part, yeah, my services are free. So my representation, me, you know, negotiating for you on your behalf is, is completely free. I get paid from the seller. So one of the things that they don't really realize is that the listing agent who's going to be listing the home is actually kind of incorporating my compensation into the overall fee that they're charging the seller. It's one of those things where buyers just don't worry about that, you know. Just first time buyers. Though, first, right? well, any buyer, really, any, any person that's buying a home, okay, all their their representation is going to be covered and be, be paid for by the seller. So buyers don't worry about it. That, that fee is something that you're not going to have to worry about. Okay. So thinking about first time buyers and maybe they're wanting to have a custom home built. Is it better for them to use a realtor or to actually go directly to the builder? Well, that's a, actually a really good question. Now, a buyer's not gonna get a break. They're not gonna get a lower price on the home by cutting out the real estate agent. I think if anything, it's kind of hurting them in a way because they don't have that professional give them guidance on, you know, maybe some things to do to the home. Right. Uh, one of the big ones is, you know, somebody wants to, to kind of save money on doing the purchase by doing a two car versus a three car garage. Yeah. Well, that's Not where. In today's day and age. Yeah. Where, <laughs> and depending on the neighborhood, that could right. be true. Right. But most of the time, I could come in and say, you know, you need to go for the three-car garage. That's where you're going to get that resale value. So it's a total benefit to have a professional there, and it doesn't cost them again on the buy side for uh, building a home. For someone that's a first-time buyer, for example, um, what are the first steps they have to take? Well, the very first step is getting pre-approved. Okay. Um, you know, you want to know what you can buy. Right. You, know, you don't want to go out there and waste your time looking at. A hundred and eighty thousand dollar home when you can really only afford a hundred and sixty thousand dollar home. You don't want to get into a home to where every paycheck that you get goes right back into the mortgage payment. When I do my buyer consultation, I talk about you can ask the seller, give me a copy of your bills. I want to know what are your monthly bills look like, and it's something to really take into to, to th just to think about because a lot of the homes in Indianapolis were were built back in the day, you know, especially in in the downtown metro area. Most of these homes were built in 1900. Right. So there's a lot of these homes that don't have insulation in the walls or insulation in the attic. And a lot of people don't think about that where <laughs> Until winter hits. Your, your energy bill is going to be a lot higher <laughs> right, on those homes. So right. it's something to factor in too, for right. sure. So when a buyer gets the offer accepted, do they, how soon do they get the keys? I mean, that's a really good question. <laughs> you know, timing is everything. Right. You know, with schools, jobs, there's all kinds of things that kind of come into play. So timing is, is they want to get into the home as fast as possible. Right. But they just accepted our offer. That means we can have free reign of the home. Well, no. You're going to get the keys at closing day, which usually takes okay. about 30 to 45 days. All right. Okay. Well, that's and that, not horrible. It's not a long. <laughs> it's not, it's not a long period, but <laughs> so. that's where doing this early, coming up with a game plan early, is really going to set you up for success because a lot of people don't think, okay, I've got 45 days from when they even accept the offer. You know, so you got to look for the house, you got to find the house, make the offer, get it accepted, and then there's that 45-day wait. So planning ahead of time is going to be key, but yeah, once you sign the paperwork at closing and the deed actually gets signed over to you, that's when you take ownership and that's when you get free reign, you can move in, start painting, and, and knock out any wall that you want to knock out. Thank you again for all your information, Adam. Remember, if you are buying a home, you don't have to have pay realtor fees, so contact Adam. And next episode, Adam will be back and showing us a hot Indianapolis property.